Jen, tell me you want to smash checking out my history in under three minutes? Let's get into it then. This poem for me is both an educational experience and a criticism, and for that, John Agard, I salute you. Agard creates a really angry tone with an undercurrent of frustration as his irregular rhyme and enjambement really manipulate the reader who struggles at times to keep up with what he's saying, emphasising how white culture dominates the black voice, thus the identity of the black person is well and truly concealed. Their whole history is eradicated through the education system as it's not even referenced at any point. Yet, through these black figures, which he then educates us about in this poem, we, as a white person I thought was brilliant, begin to be educated about a completely different history, yet one that is equally as powerful and um, warming to us. Looking at race and gender through this poem, we can see how history has distorted this for us. Bandage up me eye with me own history, blind me to me own identity. These restrictive verbs really emphasise how version of, of events presented to people is actually harmful and restrictive in their thinking. They don't know who they are, they feel misplaced and that they then become outside of society, which of course is a form of discrimination and oppression. Agar juxtaposes myth and reality. Man who discovered a balloon, the cow who jump over the moon, them never tell me about Nanny Maroon, emphasises how we prioritise the wrong things when teaching about cultural history and how prominent black figures are completely eradicated, such as Shaka Zulu, the Caribs and the Arawaks, and the very fabulous Mary Seiko. Agar creates a song-like structure to mimic how people's personal history was often taught to them orally through song, and therefore you would sing that song to your own children so they would understand your history too. Therefore, identity is quite often constructed through time and passed down through song. Therefore, he's potentially telling us that's a more accurate document than the ones that are written and taught to us in schools. The undeniable conflict between cultures is clear in his poem, offering insight into why history needs to be widened in schools and education encompassing all ethnicities are able to be taught and given equal value. After all, in this multicultural world, we do not have one viewpoint, we have many, and they're all equally as valuable, informative and enlightening. And I, for one, love that. So, any further poems you'd like me to look at? Follow. You want five Jekyll and Hyde quotes that can be 